Hi guys, I feel like it's been forever since I've talked to you. Um, I have a little Dollar Tree haul to share with you. It's really two in one. Um, I went a few days ago and then yesterday I ran in there just for a few things that I needed. And there's one thing that I got that's not going to be pictured here. It's in the kitchen because I've already used it. I got a splatter screen, which is something I've needed forever for whenever I cook chicken and oil on the stove. That has really been like a game changer for me. I'm glad I saw one and picked it up when I did. Um, also because I keep forgetting to grab them when I go into Target, I just grabbed a cheap dollar thing of plastic trash bags. I don't know. I, I like getting them from Target, but they haven't been on my list, so every time I go in there, I freaking forget. So I just grabbed some cheap ones from Dollar Tree. I also grabbed some more dishwashing soap. Um, these, I don't know why I'm craving Jello, so I just picked this up because I saw them. So I just got some strawberry Jello. I made sure to not get the sugar free stuff because I would not eat the sugar free. <laughs> Um, I also picked up some Twizzlers because every time I see somebody eating them in a TV show, which always happens randomly, I always want them, so I got them to have on hand. These I had to get because my sister said she got them the other day, and I was like, I didn't even know they existed. Birthday, cake, Hershey Kisses. Like, as soon as I cut this bag open, it smells like cake batter, and the actual kisses, like, they're, you know... They're wrapped up, but the whole bag smells like cake batter, and these taste just like cake batter. Highly recommend if you're a cake batter fan. Um, now I want to go get the big bag I saw at Target after I got those at Dollar Tree. Um, I got this notebook just because it was really cute, and I think they're just coming out with a whole bunch of new notebooks. I don't know. You guys know I have a thing for notebooks. I also got a kitchen timer because I'm always having to use my phone for a timer, Sometimes it needs to charge, other times maybe Alden's using it, or I don't know, I just don't have it with me. So I picked that up. I also grabbed some more razors. And these I just saw at the checkout. Now I'm not really into, like, scripture and religious stuff. That's just not my thing. I'm not about that life. But I saw these and I just thought it'd be nice to have um, they're just prayer cards, so I thought if somebody I know needed a pick-me-up or they're having a bad day, I could maybe give them one, or I can, like, send a text or write a card with one of the inspirational, like, quotes or scripture that's on these in the card or whatever. I don't know. I just thought it'd be nice to have you get 20 cards for a dollar, and they all have, like, this print on them. They're really cute. And then, for the other trip, um, I saw this and I thought it would be a really cute little rug for in front of my sink because I still have my Christmas one out because I haven't gotten one that's not Christmas. So I thought this was really, really cute. The only thing is it's going to slide around because there's nothing on the back of it to keep it from, like, to keep it sticking in one spot. So I just thought it was really cute. It's just a woven rug. 79% cotton, and I just thought it was adorable. I love the little tassels on the end. You can't beat it for a dollar. This would even be cute um, to put, like, your dog's food and water bowl on top of or something, you know? I mean, for a dollar, it doesn't matter if it gets messed up or anything. I also grabbed two more of these little crates. I have two in a drawer, and I have an idea of something I want to do, so I might wait and grab a few more of these before starting that project. I also saw this, the pink Dove body cream up at the checkout, and I was told before that these sell out so quickly when they have them, and I already got the one with the blue, so I got the one with the pink this time. I also got this little thing of headbands. I like the cute little, uh, what's it called? Tie-dye. Thought they were adorable. I got several. I got this, the blue unicorn one. Oh, it came with this black one. So I got this pack. I also got a pack that comes with the pink unicorn one and a light blue plain one. And I got these as well. Can't have too many headbands. Blue and pink. 
And then they only had two of these when I went in there. I saw A and M, but I don't think it matters because I think it comes with every letter with it. I just grabbed the one that said A though. It's this really cute little monogram cross stitch kit. I've never cross stitched before, but I really want to learn. And I thought I would make this A for Alden. And then I'd like to get one for my name and my fiance's name and then I can hang them somewhere. Or they would be really cute ornaments on the tree. So I really want to try this. And then there were actually two of these Nude Awakening Wet n Wild palettes there. So I grabbed both of them and one is for my sister, one is for me. I think I actually have this already in my collection or I might have gotten rid of it. But I know at some point I had this. Couldn't pass it up for a dollar though because it's a whole 10 pan eyeshadow palette. And then I always grab Benadryl and like Excedrin and stuff when I see it. They've actually been out of Excedrin for a while and that sucks because I, I've been needing it for my headaches. But I did grab some Benadryl. I also got this pack of Bolero body wipes. This one is the Galiptus in Cedar. And then I got these facial wipes by Bolero. This one is Wild Jasmine and Jojoba. You can never have too many wipes. They're always really nice to have on hand. I also got a new pack of gum that will eventually go in my purse. And I saw this really cute little notebook. What does it say? Wild at Heart. And it's pink cheetah print. The pages are black though. So I really need to get some um, gel pens that I'm able to write on black paper with. And then I grabbed some tape because I needed tape. And I read one of these books back in middle school, maybe. I think it was the TTYL. And it's like written like, like you're on AIM or another instant messenger. It's written like that where like these girls have screen names and you're reading their conversation. This one is Later Gator. I don't think I read this one. There was TTYL, which is the one I have. TTFN, YOLO, and then this one, Later Gator. I don't know when this one was written, but it's kind of like it goes with those other books. It says copyright 07. I don't know when the one I read came out, but I know I read it and I enjoyed it. And when I saw this, I was like, I'll totally get that and read it for $1. And then I saw this, So Sweet Creatures, to make really cute little animals and I do want to learn how to sew and do all of that. I actually I do have a sewing machine. I got it from my grandma's house when she passed away. Um it's at my sister's house though, boxed up and stored, but I've always wanted to learn how to use her sewing machine. My best friend got a sewing machine for her birthday or Christmas one year and we were going to take classes at Michael's and we never did or we were going to do something and try to learn how to sew together, but I really do want to learn how to sew. What's cool, though, is they have the patterns that you need um, for all these different animals. So this one is the Festival Panda. They have a fairy mouse, a farmer rabbit. Uh, but, like, look how cute the little farmer rabbit is. Like, I could make that if I learned how to sew, but I just thought for a dollar it was a really nice book to have and maybe try to learn and do some of the patterns in there and I can maybe make one for Alden and my nephew and my niece. I just hit my cord so my light kind of dimmed. I'm sorry. And I am wearing my glasses because I hate not wearing my glasses in videos because then I can't see what I'm doing. Like when I look up here, you know. Okay, I really like these. They're by Rubbermaid. I got this take along. They're meal prep containers. So I got this bowl. It's apparently five cups. Um, this one is designed for salads, soups, and sides. It is BPA free, uh, freezer safe, dishwasher safe, and microwave reheatable. I thought that was awesome. So I got one bowl for this time and then I got this one. It comes with two and it's just like a split thing. You can put like your main meal here and a snack on this side. Again, freezer safe, microwave safe, and all of that, which is something I love. So I'd love to get more of these because it's easier than having stuff. Like even if you're just at home, you can throw it in the microwave without taking it out, dirtying up a plate or something, or if you don't have paper plates, you know. So I want to get more of these and replace a lot of the stuff I already have. 
Um, oh, I needed tape, but didn't see this till I got to the checkout, so I bought this. But I'll just give it to my fiancé, because I'm sure he could use the electrical tape for something. But at least we'll have it in case we ever need it. These I'm very excited about. I cannot wait to wash these. Little salt, salt and pepper shakers that look like little mason jars. How cute is that? They had some that had the tops without the holes in it. But, of course, I want to use them as salt and pepper shakers. But I might go back and get some that just have the solid lids. And I have an idea for a project. So maybe we'll do it together. But I'm very excited for these. And last but not least, I got another one of these Bath & Beauty Pure Attraction Melon & Plum because I'm just shocked at how good this smells. Usually I'm not too fond of the stuff from Dollar Tree, scent-wise, but this seriously smells so good. I really like it. So I have one in my purse and then this one will just stay up there and I'll have an extra one. So yeah, that's everything that I got at Dollar Tree the last couple of times I went. There were a few things in there for Alden, but of course he had them right away. He's actually up there sleeping. I think he is currently sick. I think he just got a cold. Um, the other day he was around another little kid that we didn't know at the time was sick. Like, I don't know why parents let their kids around other kids if their kid is sick, but... It happened. I don't blame the kids or anything, you know, and Alden was just excited to have somebody to play with, but I noticed, like, the little kid was coughing, and I was like, oh, oh no. And then today, Alden's been sneezing with, like, snot going everywhere, which isn't typical for him, and he's been coughing a lot. And I'm like, great. I really hope it's just a cold. I, I don't think it's COVID, but, you know, knock on wood. I mean, I pray to God that's not it. But I just wanted him to get better, so it's pretty early for him to be sleeping. But honestly, like, I'd rather him just sleep and try to feel better and all of that. So if he wakes up late at night and he's up all night, I don't care. Like, I just want him to feel better. Rest is important. If I can get him to drink some orange juice, you know, I will. I actually have some and... Um, I need to go to the store tomorrow and look for, like, children's Benadryl. I really need to have stuff on hand. Um, we always had stuff on hand at my mom's house, but, you know. I mean, I took everything, but I also, the only thing that I think my mom had in there left over was, um, liquid medicine. And if Alden's anything like me, he will not drink liquid medicine. Like, my parents had to force me to drink that stuff as a child. Like, I refused. I remember one night... My dad was trying to get me to take NyQuil, like the liquid NyQuil, because I was sick, and it was green, and it smelled atrocious, and I sat in that kitchen chair all night. He wouldn't let me move um, until I took the medicine. I didn't take the medicine, and I just sat in that chair all night. He, he wouldn't let me do anything. I didn't care. I was not taking that medicine. Like, I was so stubborn. But I also, like, remember when Alden was a baby and he had the flu and the doctor prescribed Vera flu for him. And, of course, it was liquid and we paid $50 for the medication at the pharmacy and he ended up throwing it all up. Like, that's how I feel taking liquid medications. I'm not going to make my kid do that. So I want to get him, like, chewable tablets or something. I don't know what they got. I've never really had to look for that stuff because Alden's very rarely sick. So I'm praying this doesn't last long, maybe a day or so. I don't know. I just want him to rest as much as possible and get better because I would rather me be sick than Alden. You know what I mean? Like, it sucks and I'd be miserable, but I'd rather it be me than him. So I'm going to put all this stuff away and watch more Boy Meets World because I got sucked in. I really was just checking to see where it was streaming last night and it was on Disney Plus and I think I saw Hulu and I was just looking it up to tell my best friend and I was like, I'll just watch the first episode because it's been many, many years since I watched Boy Meets World and now I'm just re-watching it apparently. It's so good. I used to love that show as a kid. We seriously had the best TV shows back in the 90s and early 2000s, like, I really miss the way TV used to be, but we don't have TV now, we just have streaming services and YouTube, so, alright guys, I'm gonna put everything away, and I will talk to you guys again really soon, bye!